So this is what I'm planning on doing every month is you'll have a little postcard up on the top. And on that postcard will remind you of the live date and time. And you'll also get a list of what you need besides what's in the um, kit. So just a reminder, everything you need for the card will be included in the kit except for your like your common supplies which for this one card is adhesive and scissors so i mentioned earlier you know this is like your double-sided tape which you can get at walmart or anywhere or really just some glue stick and then some scissors i have small ones but really you can use any scissors which i'm actually going to Pull out my cheap Walmart scissors just so you know that any scissors will work and then I also have a list of optional items and in this case um, I put ruler and I'm gonna be honest with you the reason why I put ruler is because some people like everything to be perfectly lined up I am NOT one of those people I like to eyeball just because it makes it easier for me but if you're one of those people that need you know exact measurements and everything needs to be lined up definitely bring a ruler the other item is a bone folder. Again, not necessary, but it does help um, with the creases. A bone folder looks something like this. Um, you can also buy these, believe it or not, now at the Dollar Tree. They have some, um, or really any craft store, probably even Walmart. I also put pen or a pencil because for this particular card, we don't need to do any markings but i do have some printed directions or instructions so in case you want to take notes or maybe a piece of paper on the side where you want to take notes so that's about it so this will be included with every card kit <clears throat> and then let's put out the goodies you're going to get a typed instructions which is all the measurements so if you decide to make this on your own it has all the measurements where you need to score um, and then it just basically step-by-step -step instructions. Now this is instructions for the basic card itself, not necessarily the um, embellishments and things that we're putting on the card. So what I put in the kit was a, a popsicle stick or a craft stick is what they call them. And I thought you can use this as a bone folder um, if you don't have one, but really anything that helps you crease. So that's really the reason for that. And then all the little goodies will be like in a little plastic bag. And then these are all the pieces. Oops, this is a, the adhesive. So now the card. So let me show you. I know I showed you guys the picture, but this is called an easel card. So just like this, it, it lays flat and it's in your envelope flat. But then when the recipient opens it, I hope you can, I don't know if you can tell, but it slides up and then that holds it. You see how that happens? What's included is the card base which here it is here, four and a quarter, or excuse, yeah, four and a quarter by 11 and a half. And then if you're, I hope you're looking at the, um, the sheet, you would score, if this is something you're doing on your own, you're gonna score it at five and a half and at 8.25. But if you notice, I already did that for you. So I scored it at five and a half and then 8.25. Well, step one, we're gonna take our card base A, which remember was that the big one and uh okay we're gonna fold up the five and a half score line which is what i already did so you're gonna if it's open like this let's see if i can and i already folded it but you're gonna fold that down towards you and then this is where you know your your um bone folder would be nice but since if you have one great if you don't that's fine we're going to use our popsicle stick so just crease that top one because we want a really good hard crease right this bottom half where i don't you probably can't see it too much but that's where that the other fold or score line is this one we're going to fold up and then crease it if you see that on the side that's what it looks like well, now the next step is we want to put some very strong adhesive on this this portion now the strong adhesive is this strip i don't know if you can see it but it's double-sided tape so what you want to do we're not going to cover the entire thing but we're going to cut this into 
into thirds. It doesn't have to be an exact measurement because um, you're going to put a layer on the top, the bottom, and then somewhere in the middle. So just take your scissors and cut it, like I said, just eyeball. It doesn't even matter if it's straight or not because we're just using it to adhere uh, one of the cardstock pieces. But just peel one of the ends because it's going to be sticky on both sides. So let's see. Let's take that release paper off and then put it near the top. I, you know what? With this white on white, it might not be. Here, let me see if that makes it easier. So again, just on this portion, you want to put it on that top side and you can leave yourself a little bit. I don't know if you could see that. You know, it doesn't need to be exactly on the top. So maybe just like a hair below it. And the reason why I say that is because that way, if it's not perfect, it's not going over the edge. So give yourself a little bit of room to work with that. See? And then um, you can use your stick to rub that down. You want to make sure that's stuck. And do the same thing with um, the other two pieces that you... And then this one I'm going to put on the bottom. Again, making sure that it's just slightly above where the crease mark is. And the main reason for that, again, is you don't want to put adhesive. You don't want it to overlap so it doesn't stick to this bottom. For the third piece, um, shoot. Oh, hey, I just realized, I, I don't know if you guys noticed. Did you guys notice my henna tattoo? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I did. Yeah. <laughs> Carly and I were messing around with it. I, I told Carly, I can't decide if it looks like I burned myself or the wrinkles, but it's a, it's my henna tattoo. It'll go off. <laughs> It'll go away in a couple weeks, but I do like it. So on the third strip, just anywhere in the middle, like, you know, again, eyeball it. It's not that important that it's exactly in the center, but, you know, again that across again you want to make sure these are burnished because these can be a little hard to um, peel or at least I have a difficult time with it but I'm gonna give you guys a tip so this adhesive is very strong if I was holding the, I took the the cover off and I was holding this and oh my god I dropped it guess what that's where it stuck so a tip is when you remove it you're going to remove I don't know, maybe what about an inch of that adhesive and just um, give it a little flag, I guess. Keep, so don't don't remove the whole thing. Just keep about it. Just remove about an inch of it. And we're going to do the same thing on this the other side on the very bottom one, but on the right side. Now, when you're peeling that off, if the adhesive is peeling up with the uh, backing, just use your popsicle stick or your bone fold or whatever you're using or your fingernail and burnish it harder because that just means that it's not um, completely stuck to the cardstock. Now with, so then with the middle one, unfortunately we're gonna have to take this all the way off. Well, actually, you know what? No, look it, I could flag some of that. So now what we want to do, um, we're still on the first section, step three. We're going to line, this is um, what I'm calling the piece B, to the top edge, which is over here. And we want to make sure that it is straight. Like I would use my finger. So you're blocking both ends. You see that? Like, Or you know what? Let's do this. Let's lay it down flat a little bit. So you see how it's just right up there and you're following along all along there so right now we're just rub that down a little bit that's where that first piece of um what do you say that uncovered adhesive is and then pull that do you see it carrie can you see that pull that so now all that adhesive is off all and you could tell it's it's even pull this all that adhesive is off Rub it down. Now we're going to work on the back one. And then just use your hand. You can use your stick to burnish it on there. See? That's that easel portion. You see how? 
Now what we're going to do, we're gonna decorate the card front. So now we're gonna take our PC, which is this uh, card front mat. So I'm gonna use my glue stick just because I think that's the easier tool or glue to use. But you can use, like I said, whatever adhesive that you decided to, to bring to this party. <laughs> so you wanna make sure that your glue stick covers the entire back. Now, if you are using your um, double-sided tape, um, usually what I do is I put a little, like a little run in both corners, corner, or all four corners, right? And then maybe like a couple strips in the middle. You don't need to do an entire thing. Um, that's just kind of a waste of adhesive. Now, this is what I was talking about when I was telling you about a ruler. For me, I'm gonna eyeball it. But basically, you just wanna center this. So, you just got a little bit of a border all the way around. So once you do that, if you want, you can, you know, burnish it a little bit. Just make sure that it's stuck on there. And then we're going to do the same thing with the pattern piece of paper. You know, this time I'll do the, the um, tape runner so you know what I'm talking about, putting the adhesive. Uh, so just... Oops. corners and you definitely want to get as close to the edge as possible just because you don't want your corners flying up unless you want your corners flying up I mean right so same thing with this you're just eyeballing and centering oh okay that's pretty much where we're gonna stop as far as on the instruction sheet now What's not on the instructions is kind of all the other, the pretties is what I like to call it. So I'm going to wait until we're done with the inside before we start doing the pretties of the card because I think it'll just, that way we don't um, accidentally ruin or scrunch up the butterfly and things like that. So now, like I said, we're going to work on the inside. So the inside is actually pretty easy This on this card. Again, just put your adhesive on the back. And since this is a small piece, you could probably go all the way down. Again, if you have a glue stick, cover the entire thing. And we're centering from the top and bottom, but adhering the strip all the way to the uh, left edge. And looks like mine's a little bit longer, so I'm gonna try. We're gonna eyeball about three quarters of an inch up. This is sentiment G, <laughs> or the sentiment, and we're gonna adhere it to H. And this time we're going to center all edges, the four edges, so you see like that. So the key to the easel is, uh, if you could see that, that sentiment is on dimension. Like, uh, it's kind of hard to see. So when you put the easel up, that's what holds it. I don't know if you could see that. Ooh, I'm trying to show you on the there. So that is why you have the three, um, the three three-dimensional adhesives. <laughs> so on the back, you want these are double-sided. So you want to put one on both edges. And not exactly to the edge. You want to give it a little bit of a, um, a space. And then one in the middle. But once you take your the backing off of your three-dimensional um, tapes, you're going to place it, center it in the middle of your little mat on the inside. Press it down. And that is the easel. Now we have this little sentiment strip. And if you notice on the sample, I did a little, they call this a fishtail banner cut. And I don't know if you can tell, but it's also got a little bit of depth. Can you tell from the picture, Carly? Uh, it's kind of hard. It's kind of hard to tell. I'm trying to see from my angle. Um, 
Now, I just want to do it so it's a little bit extra. You know, obviously you can just have it straight, but I'm going to give you a little hint or a little um, tip on how to do the fishtail banner pretty easily. Don't need a special tool. So actually, before I do that, if you notice where the word starts, it's, you know, a pinky, <laughs> it's a pinky dimension. <laughs> and then, um, and I don't know what the, your stamp sediments look like. I probably did it a bit, a little bit longer, but see mine is a lot longer. So I'm going to cut off some of this and I'm just, you know, again, I don't care if it's straight or not. So cut that off just a little bit and then, all right, this one, you guys got to pay attention. So you're going to eyeball what half of the half of the dimension of that so again I say the word eyeball but if you need to measure measure and if you wanted to measure it is about a yeah it's a half an inch wide so you're gonna put a little mark at the quarter inch I'm not gonna measure because that's not my thing so you're just gonna do a little snip and that little snip is I don't know if you could see that but can you see how small that is and it can go up or as small as you want, but I'd say uh, it's a little less than a quarter of an inch. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your scissors and you're gonna cut from this end to the top of where you did that snip. So I know it's white on white, so you can't see it, but you can see, can you see that? Got like a little triangle oh, I need to go a little further and then you're gonna do the same thing on the other side so this corner up to that snip Whew, I'm gonna go from the back just because I got a little bit of a shadow so you see that it just adds a little fun you know again it doesn't have to you could just keep it straight but that's a, a fun and easy and no extra product to add just a little something extra to your card. And then what I did, because this is actually a pretty thin piece of cardstock, I'm just gonna use my finger, but you can use, you know, your um, bone folder or your popsicle stick and just very lightly, just kind of like if, as if you're curling the paper, you're gonna kind of hold your thumb and just curl it. You see how it's curled? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same thing, but at the edge, curl it up. You see that? So again, it's not much, but it adds a little bit of dimension and isn't that fun? So we're going to put adhesive here and then we're going to put adhesive here because the rest we want up, right? So I'm actually gonna use my um, tape runner on this part. So just eyeball, you know, what is that? I wish I, wish I was someone who measured because that would probably help all of you guys. Do you see how I did that? So oh, I think I'm gonna put that black paper if that helps. So a little bit of adhesive there on that part that rolls up and then adhesive here. So once you do that, Now, this is the trick because you don't want to go too far up because you don't want it sticking way far up because again, you're putting this in an envelope. So you just want it up just a little bit to where you can tell that it's got some dimension, but at the same time, you can put it in an envelope. So before you you know, put pressure on this side because that's where the adhesive is, you know, make sure you got it in a good spot, right? And then push that down. Okay, and then the back of this gem, just peel off the plastic part and and then oh, oops and then adhere it to your card front oh that's so pretty oh you know it'd be pretty you could even do that as a like a diamond you know where the points are up so that's pretty see that that looks super cute like that so you can do something like that if you haven't stuck yours down yet what we're gonna do is um 
my butterfly, the, the green butterfly, <laughs> the antenna is a little short. But that's okay because I was planning on cutting it off so I didn't recut it. So um, if you have a too short antenna, <laughs> that's okay. Just use your scissors. Keep the head on there, but just trim the antenna off. And the reason why I say that is because we have an antenna here. See that? And then what I did on the original card is I wanted this to have some dimension as well. So I only put adhesive in the caterpillar body. Um, use your stick to help guide where that fold will be. It doesn't have to be anything intense, but just to the, just like that. See that? And then what we're going to do is just add adhesive on the body right on top of the white one. Now be careful if you're using a double-sided tape that you get it right the first time because it won't let you peel it up. Oh, that's super cute. And now we're going to well, flatten it down because you're gonna need the back. And then just add your adhesive on the entire back of the white portion. And then just decide, decide where you want to put it. Now, one thing to keep in mind is you want to keep it within the card. If you were thinking, oh, I want it to be higher. You see, if you're, it's too high above the actual card, it's not going to fit in the envelope. Same thing if you moved it to the side. So you want to, you know, just eyeball it. And that's it.